um, quickly over um, overview uh, conversions of temperature. I don't need to tell you what uh, temperature is because it me pretty much measures how hot or cold an object is. And we use a device called as a thermometer for doing that. So um, let's look at the scales that are present in a thermometer. Um, or There are three different uh, scales. One is called as the Kelvin or designated as K. And then we have the Celsius or the older centigrade. And we have the F or the Fahrenheit. Now, F or uh, the Fahrenheit scale is the one that we're more familiar with in the American system. It starts at the freezing point of water being 32 and boiling of water being 212. Um, the Celsius and the Kelvin both, if you notice, have 100 uh, units. Um, the, the Fahrenheit has 180 divisions uh, within that. So uh, Celsius starts with a 0 to 100 and Kelvin to, from 273 to a 373. Now, however, you have the same um, equal divisions in Celsius and, and Kelvin. The reason Kelvin was des designed and uh, is because um, in scientific experiments, if you take a temperature that's below zero, it would be considered as minus 17 or minus 50 and so forth. And this minus is only indicating that it's a negative temperature um, or below zero, uh, not algebraic negative. Um, sometimes when you use a, a symbol like these in mathematical problem, uh, the negative sign can be taken as a uh an algebraic value. So to avoid that uh, confusion, a Kelvin scale was designed. And Kelvin scales are usually used in uh, in, uh, in laboratories and ex scientific experiments. You don't really hear of people talking about Kelvin in everyday life. Celsius is a scale that is used in the in the metric system, and uh, Amer and the Fahrenheit is a scale that is used in the American system. So knowing this, um, the, the, uh, the, the, the difference between the Fahrenheit and Celsius scale is uh, based on um, the difference between the units. So 180 equals to, um, to 100 degrees Celsius is 9 by 5 or 1.8 by 1 ratio. Now uh, Fahrenheit temperatures are usually um, are formed by taking the Celsius temperature, multiplying that by 1.8 and adding a factor of 32. Now this uh, this uh, equation that's shown over here is something that I'm going to give you so you don't have to uh, ever memorize uh, the temperature equations because they will be given to you um, in, in, uh, in exams and tests. So um, same thing with the Celsius. Here is the value of converting our Fahrenheit to Celsius. And again, uh, if, I, if I give you a problem on these uh, temperature scales, you will be provided with, uh, with these uh, equations. So you do not need to memorize them. However, it's important to see how to um, apply this equation. So for example, here we have a problem in which we can see that the te a, a person's uh, temp body temperature is 34.8 degrees Celsius. What is that temperature in Fahrenheit? So uh, this equation is provided will be provided to you. That is, the Fahrenheit temperature equals 1.8 times Celsius plus 32. So you can see that it has just been plugging in the Celsius value, um, and then just simple multiplication and then addition of this value to um, come up with the uh, with the um, with the answer. So again, another problem in which we see that the normal temperature is 1.8 105.8 Fahrenheit. What is the temperature in Celsius? Again, this equation that's shown over here, I will be providing to you. So you pretty much have to plug in the value of the Fahrenheit and uh, and just do it. I think it's a lot simpler um, if the equations are given to you. Um, another example in which we, I can, I'm showing you a pepperoni pizza, which is uh, 455 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit. What is temperatures needed? What temperatures needed on the Celsius scale? Again, we have this um, given um, problem with the equation that's given up here. All you're doing is is um, in, is um, adding is, is replacing TF by the value of 455 and coming up with your um, Celsius um, temperature. Okay. Um...
here is another one on a cold wintry day the temperature is minus 15 what is the temperature in fahrenheit again we're seeing that all we have to do is is put in the value to come up with uh with your values now i'm, I'm going a little quicker on these because i don't think we need to spend too much time on this because uh, once i've given you the equation all you have to do is plug it in however let's see if you have to convert a temperature of celsius to kelvin then it's a lot simpler you just add 273 the reason is because zero degrees celsius and 273 were the same so um to, in order to convert any celsius temperature to kelvin um you just have to add 207 uh, 273 units to it to convert it into a kelvin unit so uh, this concludes our very many lecture on um, temperature and then we'll go into states of matter next